Hello dear students, well this is the second part of the video of the topic conjunctions and we are going to revise the few points that you have to remember. And we use and to join two words of same part of speech or a noun and a pronoun or two short sentences. For example, she is sincere and hardworking. So here you have seen how we have joined the two words of the same part of the speech, right? Like Arjun and I studied together. She went to the market and bought some ribbons. So here we have joined the two short sentences. Smita and Rajesh are playing. So you have seen how we have used the conjunction and in different sentences, in different examples, right? The next one is but. We use but to join two contrasting words or sentences. For example, Ananya is intelligent but careless. So here you can see that these are the two contrasting words. Contrasting means these are two opposite things about Ananya, that she is intelligent, but she is careless as well, right? John fell off a running bus, but was not hurt. So it is said that John fell off a running bus, but he was not hurt, right? So you have seen how we have used the conjunction but here. Ajay is fat, but Kriti is slim. So here there is a contrast between the two children that Ajay is fat and Kriti is slim. She studied hard but couldn't pass. So here children you have understood how we have used the conjunction but in these examples. Next it is because. We use because to join two sentences. If one sentence says something and the second sentence gives a reason for it. So because it is always used to give a reason, right? For example, Rohit is absent because he has fever. So the reason of Rohit's absence is that he has got fever. John is sad because someone broke his toy. So why is John sad? Because someone broke his toy. I can play tennis very well because I have been learning it for the last three years. So children, here you have understood how we have used the conjunction because and we have used to give a reason and to justify the first sentence. All right, next. The conjunction or. We use or to give choice between two or more things. For example, is your dress black or pink? Sit quietly or leave the room. So now there is a choice. You have to sit quietly or you can leave the room, right? Wake up early or miss the bus. So here you have to choose the option. Either you wake up early or you miss the bus. Do you want pizza or burger? So here children, in these sentences, you have seen that we have used the conjunction or to give a choice between two or more things, right? I hope the usage of all the joining words is clear to all of you. Now you can attempt all the exercises given in the workbook correctly, right? So thank you so much students. Keep learning and keep working hard. Thank you. Take care and bye-bye.